Will you be diligent in studying God's words, modelling your life upon it, growing daily in faith and obedience? With God's help, I will. Well, I'd been 14 years as, um, just over 14 years as Dean of Newcastle in the North East, um, so quite experienced in the cathedral world. And uh, uh, when the vacancy emerged here, they were looking for somebody who had um, new, new cathedral life, knew the world of cathedrals, because there were quite a few challenges uh, in, in taking Peterborough forward. Um, so I was asked to, to explore the possibility of coming here, and uh, the rest is history, as they say. Here I am. It was quite extraordinary, really. We'd only just arrived in Peterborough. And to walk into this building um, with the consciousness that one was about to be asked to lead its life and its ministry in the future, with beautiful music, with friends from the past and new friends we're looking forward to meeting, it was a really profound experience. We're trying to obviously make sure we have a sustainable future. We need to balance the books and it's been well publicised. There have been issues around that. So we're working hard with our team to uh, uh, develop a good program that, um, that not only um, maintains the building and, and all its resources, but also enables us to flourish in terms of mission, in terms of serving the wider community, uh, in terms of reaching out to the people of Peterborough. So there's quite a lot involved in all that. Well, I think there's every opportunity for picking up that number and that theme uh, to really look and recognise the, the rich history we've got here, but also how the cathedral can really contribute into the life and uh, well-being of the community today. So there's all sorts of opportunities for events happening in the cathedral, around the city, uh, all tied into that theme. And I guess there are a lot of people who have taken for granted, who've lived in the area for a long time, and certainly that's often the case. The thing on your doorstep is not the thing you actually go and look at, you go and visit elsewhere. But we're hoping that everybody, perhaps in Peterborough, should make uh, a special pilgrim journey just once this year at least, to come in, to look at this great building, to recognize just what a treasure house this is. Um, not just a fantastic architectural building, but also a place that has a really deep spiritual and um, kind of meaning for people and, and will really open their eyes to a whole lot of wonderful things that they may not have realized were right on their doorstep.